Good fences make good neighbors. Sure, we've all heard that a thousand times. Seriously though, fences serve a multitude of purposes for homeowners and we're here today to cover our top five. Privacy, security, borders, aesthetics, and safety. So one of the things that I wanted to do is I wanted to maximize my property line and make sure that the fence used every square inch possible. The great part about using this fence in this design, it allowed me the flexibility not only to build within the perimeter of my yard, but also outside to create a storage area using the full extent of my property. Being on a corner property, I have two different access roads. It was important for me, and especially having young children at the time, to make sure that I had a fence that had gates, but also that they were locks on the gates and the locks were from the inside. And unless I wanted you to get in, you couldn't get in. So it was important that I had something that was secure. Uh, the privacy part of it is so you really can't see inside my fence. It's a high fence and I have two gates with locks on them. That was important. So one of the reasons I chose this style of fence with the height is because I installed a pool. And part of the code with the township is that you need to at least have a four foot fence, but more importantly were the gates. The gates had to be a certain height so that small children couldn't get access to be able to open them. Also, there's a safety latch on top and a handle that a child under 10 years old wouldn't be able to reach. So the style of fence that I chose in the color was it flows well with the color of the house. It matches well the patio. It's a nice neutral color. The design also from not only inside and to match the house, but neighbors. I wanted to make sure that aesthetically, look, it was pleasing to the eye. So I chose a vinyl fence because of maintenance free. Also, it allowed me two different styles for what I needed for my backyard. For the front of my house and what's, what's visible, I was able to have lattice, a decorative look, which was important to me that from the outside people saw it flowed with my property. But in the back, I was able to choose a more solid fence. This again gave me the privacy I was looking for in my little oasis in my backyard. There's a fence option to fit most every taste or style, all having their own benefits as well as disadvantages. We're here today with Andrew Brito, owner of De Pesquale Fence, to tell us more. There's a fence style to fit everyone's tastes and their goals, whatever that may be. The main four styles are PVC, wood, aluminum, and chain link. Wood is starting to phase itself out in a lot of ways with the newer products. The main benefit of having wood is if you have a rustic type home, you, you're really set on staining it, having that style. Another benefit would be if you're only looking to move out and you want a 10 to 12 year type fence that you're just looking to close in. There are more economical grades of wood, but I would not recommend them long term because they tend to be thinner and they tend to rot out a lot faster. Uh, the PVC is something that is called maintenance free, although you would want to power wash a PVC fence here and there. It does collect moss on the north side of the fence normally, but if you get a certain grade of PVC and it's a virgin vinyl, it's going to be white inside and out, it's going to be a little bit stronger, able to be power washed, able to use soft scrub on it even if you wanted to, to keep that shine in the fence. Aluminum's another big one. That's more common I'd say for aesthetics and also for enclosing a pool because there's a lot of different types of aluminum fences that obviously you want to see through if you're closing in your pool you don't want to have privacy around your pool necessarily that's a very common use for that and lastly is chain link this is probably the most economical commonly used in more woodsy areas but also you could perimeter your property with a chain link fence that's secure and, and go with something a little more private off the front of your house if you wanted to good way to save money safe keep your your kids in your animals and keep the animals out as well. One of my biggest recommendations would be try to focus on finding a fence that's a higher quality product. It's an investment. There's a lot of different qualities of fence. There's a lot of different grades. This is something that's outdoors. It's susceptible to wind. It's susceptible to storms. My recommendation would, would be if you can push to go a little bit of the extra mile with it, it's going to benefit you long term because one, one bad storm and having to repair it and go through the insurance because the quality of the product might have not been to a high standard is only going to cost you more and, and obviously be more of a headache in the long run.